Hi, I'm Miranda from Weta and today I'm going to go over no tiller sailing. So there I am throwing the tiller off the back of the boat. Now you'd want to do no tiller sailing to play around with how the mast rake, the sail trim and the body trim affect how the boat steers. So in a nutshell, if I let the sail out, the boat will bear away. If I pull the sail in, the boat will round up. This isn't perfect and there are times when the tiller will take over, especially because all I've done is throw the extension off the back so it's dragging in the water and it might lead the rudder to point one way or the other. But the boat is so well balanced as you can see that I'm actually doing pretty well without touching the tiller at all. So I've let the sails out here and the boat bears away. Now it's the jib's half on so it rounded itself up a little bit. Um, so I'm going to get going again. I pull the sails in and the boat rounds itself up into the wind. So let the jib back one for a second and it will take us over. Now pull the sail in again to get the boat moving and through this section you can see I'm just playing with the sail trim, letting it in and out to keep the boat steering on a straight course. So when you're racing this is really useful so that you're not using the tiller too much because the rudder can act like a brake and slow the boat down. The other thing that will affect the way that the boat steers is the mast rake. So play around with your mast rake, check out our tips and tricks page where there's a guide on basic tuning which will help you get your mast rake in the right place. So that was me sailing the weather with no tiller. For more check out weathermarine.com.